which I'm going to get on right now. I'm not supposed to, but I'm going to. Justin, you stay there. This is a really old home that we're restoring. Let's go take a look inside. Make a little surprise visit. Not much noise going on here. We got all our windows ready to go. Hey guys, hey, okay. I know you didn't know it's coming, but <laughs> you're gonna be making some noise real soon. Oh yes, pretty soon. We're uh, doing our fur out right now for these first two windows on this uh, chimney side of the house. That's good. That's good. That means we'll be doing windows soon. I know we got a whole bunch of beautiful Pella windows here. It's gonna be beautiful. All retrofit windows, and we wanna. We're gonna be installing right now. Uh, Great. Let's go up and look at, you can see all the sheetrock's been removed. We've changed some openings here, reframed them. They're going to be beautiful. Let's kind of look at some of the architecture that's downstairs and see what we're going to be matching. So we can see all the way to the second floor through there. You can see the three-quarter inch ship lap. A little bit of furniture left, we're creating some beautiful arched openings between the, uh, they're going to be refinished. We've got a actual marble top there. And these are the windows that we're going to be replacing, all of these. And these are the first ones. We'll save the trims. And we're, we're furring out the windows, so we'll be getting some good footage of that a little bit later. Redid this header. It was under a non-weight bearing span because the floor joists are spanning as you can see. They are already spanning so when we added this we just needed to fur it down to make it uh, the right size opening. To get the maximum height we can get. Great framing. Really tight, beautiful trim. Cut, cut precisely. Everything is so flush so sheetrock really floats out nicely. Lots of things to work on in an old home. I really like this craftsman style that we see in throughout this home. We've got the attic stair done, the foam, and the ceiling is already in, uh, up against the rafters, making this home really, really sound. We're redoing all the wiring. You can see the old knob and tube type of uh, wiring going through there. Just been wired, so they'll be they'll be tightening it all down, straightening it all up. Just got didn't quite finish it, but that's where the electrician is working. You can see how low these old handrails used to be. There used to be now now they they typically are a lot higher. Beautiful master bath with a big shower and a big luxury walk-in closet. The walk-in closet is really nice with a little sitting area, but over there which I'm going to get on right now. I'm not supposed to, but I'm going to. Justin, you stay there. Now it's a big shower right in there. All of this area is the shower. So it's a beautiful, beautiful, large area for the shower. All new headers. We've had to strengthen up some of the uh, members in here, as you can see the blocking has allowed us to strengthen it up so that we have something really strong in here. Some of the old style framing, even though people think everything was better in the olden days, it really isn't true with some of the structural work. We're having to re-support some of this, some of the rafters, some of the bracing that we had to put in there because they were not sufficient. And it wasn't because somebody altered them, that's just the way they did it back then. And this is, this is going to be much stronger. And we do have to meet modern building codes, even though some of the, the wood is really good. It's thicker, some of the wood is thicker, but some of the standards have really been upgraded over the years. All the, the ducting is being fastened. And we'll be ready here real soon for our inspections. We're gonna get electrical and plumbing inspection and air conditioning inspections. And then we're gonna be ready to sheetrock. So this is, this is really, really, it's gonna be a beautiful old home. 
it was built like at the turn of the century, I believe. Uh, I'll have to go back and check. But it's early 20s, I think it's around the 20s, the 20s when this one was built. So it's a really cool opportunity to be able to showcase our talents and design for what's going to happen in this home.